I can hardly believe it. After months of travel restrictions, I left Berlin and drove up to the Baltic Sea coast. It's such a joy to be back at the beach and taking in the fresh sea air. I'm in Eckernförde in the northern German state of Schleswig-Holstein. The city and the neighboring Schlei region are at the center of a tourism pilot project. They're trying out ways to vacation safely even during the pandemic. That is under straight supervision of the authorities and medical experts. A huge experiment and me and my negative COVID test were part of it. I was lucky enough to get a room here in Eckernförde. Since the tourism pilot project was introduced a few weeks ago, people have been pouring into the region. Overnight guests must abide by strict rules. Upon arrival, each person has to show proof of a negative test result, no older than 48 hours. And hotels are obliged to enforce the rules. A hotel room. It's been so long since I've had the pleasure. I almost forgot what it feels like. Throw in some sun. <sighs> Happy tourists and an unbeatable view of the harbor. What can I say? It's perfect. This hotel is run by Oliver Träger. He's been looking forward to rolling out the red carpet for guests. What adjustments did you have to make for the project? All employees are required to get tested twice a week, and we're also required to keep one or two rooms available in the event that someone must go into quarantine. Any guest wishing to dine indoors must have a negative test. We've also set up a test center right on our premises to make things easier. At first glance, there's little to suggest there's a pandemic going on. Loads of tourists strolling around as if they haven't got a care in the world. But this is something truly out of the ordinary. Eckernförde and the neighboring Schlei region are among a limited number of areas included in the model project. And all of them are in Germany's north, along the North Sea and the Baltic coasts. Stefan Borgmann is the managing director of Eckernförde Tourism and Marketing. He hopes his project will serve as a model for safe travel in all of Germany. The project is set to run for four weeks. What happens after? I hope that our pilot regions will successfully demonstrate ways in which we can continue operating by deploying a testing strategy, and that our methods are effective. Then they can also be applied in accommodations and restaurants throughout Schleswig-Holstein. The parameters of the project work a little differently here than in the Schlei region. What are the main differences and what unique challenges do they pose? Each of the projects varies slightly, which is why the testing scheme in the Schlei is a little different than ours. Our guests are required to do a COVID rapid test at home and then another test here on the third day of their stay. And that's it. In the Schlei region, visitors have to take a test every other day. It's somewhat complicated and there are variations. But it has to be that way because Schleswig-Holstein wants to find out which method works best. Testing in Eckernförde can be done at over a dozen centers, free of charge. And since I'm about due for one myself, I'm getting tested right next to the beach. Hundreds of people get tested here every day, around 50 an hour, which is almost one every minute. The results come in after some 15 minutes. <laughs> There are many rules in place. How do you feel about them? It's simply part of the deal. We travel a lot, usually abroad. But since that's not possible at the moment, we're happy to be here at the Baltic Sea. Just getting away for a few days is the main thing. You don't mind all the testing? No. I think the rules are sensible, definitely. Even requiring people to get tested every 48 hours if they want to dine in restaurants. We have a camper van, and this was the first site we could find with a vacancy. 
Also es it's ist wonderful. Wirklich, es A real ist holiday. Toll. It's fantastic. Stefan Ott heads the city's COVID response center. How risky is this whole project? Well, with antigen rapid tests, we always have a certain margin of error we can't completely rule out. But the testing concept has been conceived to compensate for this uncertainty by way of increased frequency. If the project proves successful, how likely is it that other regions inside Germany or elsewhere will implement similar ones? I'm absolutely convinced that this system could be set up in any other region of Germany or Europe. And while we do enjoy certain advantages in terms of wind, weather and climate, I still think this concept would work well in other regions too. Since my latest test was also negative, I can stay a while. So I'm going to treat myself to some time at the beach. If you ask me, the best thing about this experiment is that Eckernförde allows indoor dining. That has been banned in Germany since November of 2020. So here I'm extra happy to show my test result. Daniel Lehrmann has been running this restaurant for the past seven years. Its specialty is fish, of course. Früchte, ne? What should I have? I'd suggest you try our salmon burger with a potato fritter, smoked salmon and rucola. It's very popular. We made it once just for fun, but now it's a real hit. From jest to something earnest. And no joke, one's about to land on my plate. I'll take it. Does it feel like a trip back in time when you come in and see the place full of happy diners? Yes, the first few days we didn't really notice how much things had picked up. But now it's non-stop all day long. It's always packed. How has this pilot project affected your day-to-day -day business and your customers? Are they keen to come in or are they a little hesitant? You notice the people are hungry to go out. They're friendlier, more patient. They don't complain. There's no moaning and groaning. They're really polite. Mm. Now all I need is cutlery. Time to explore the Schlei. It's an inlet of the Baltic Sea that stretches 42 kilometers into the mainland. This region is also included in the tourism project. It's known for its nature and sustainable tourism. Schleswig, with its 25,000 inhabitants, is the largest city in the region. In the early Middle Ages, it was an important trading hub for the Vikings. One place you should be sure to visit is the small fishing village of Holm. Here too, they're delighted to be part of the model project. How are things going so far? Most of the businesses appreciate the initiative we've taken with this pilot project and are happy to get on board. And there's tremendous demand among guests as well. The region can accommodate about 19,000 visitors at once. And we're almost completely booked up in May. If you ever make it around this part of the world, make sure to check out the smaller towns as well. This one, for example, Arnis, with its only 250 inhabitants, is the smallest city in Germany.
In the meantime, I've made my way to Kappeln to go for a cruise around the Schlei. After months tied to the docks, boats are finally back in action. What's your take on the model project? I think it's great that we've been given this opportunity. You've got to start somewhere, and I think we're the only one in Germany that's permitted to do this. It's great, really wonderful. Let's talk to some campers and find out what it's like for them to be part of such a large-scale experiment. The entire German coastline, including the Schlei, is popular with campers. But during the pandemic, even those traveling with their own mobile home had nowhere to go. Were you at all worried about coming here? No, not at all. Absolutely. Not even a bit? No, because when you're camping, you're out in the fresh air a lot and tend not to spend much time around other people. So there's no reason for concern. This campsite is fully booked, but fewer spots are available at the moment due to COVID-19 restrictions. Does everyone stick to the rules? You're in charge of enforcing them, but are the campers doing their part? So far, we've had nothing but positive experiences. I'm pleasantly surprised by how smooth things are going. People are very respectful of others. It's all going great. We couldn't be happier. The tourism project has raised hopes for having what used to be a typical summer season. A shortage of guests will definitely not be a problem. When I check into my hotel in Schleswig, I have a quick chat with the owner. Due to the pandemic, this past year was a tough one for the hotel industry. How do you envision the upcoming season and the future in general? Do you have any concerns? When I look beyond the immediate future, I imagine the urge to travel further afield will be great. And I don't know what that will mean for us here in the region. But in the meantime, we have an opportunity to show people what it is that makes this area so charming. I really enjoyed my time here, even with all the testing and the restrictions still in place, it did feel like a bit of normality. I really hope the pilot is successful and that other regions can soon start welcoming visitors as well. So fingers crossed. See you next time.